Right, just finishing up some quotes and got a really healthy breakfast. Keep me going for the day. Now we're off to the job. Right, okay. So we're here today in Exeter. We're going to be doing a bit of a garden clear up for the winter. Uh, we've just removed the shed that they're dismantling inside the truck out there already. We're going to be clearing up all the leaves all the way throughout the property. So we'll start on this end, blow everything all the way down there, pick them up, get them out the way. Um, because most of the leaves have come off the trees. Uh, and then we're going to be pressure washing all of the uh, patio here. You can see that there's a drip coming out of the gutter, so we're going to get up there, see if we can patch that up with some silicon. Cast iron gutters, there's only a limited amount of things you can do without just taking the whole lot down and replacing them. Uh, we'll end up moving all these pots, cleaning underneath them, moving them back. Uh, cleaning all these stones, we'll have to remove all these geraniums because uh, we don't want the chemicals that we're going to be using to loosen up all the dirt and keep everything cleaner for a bit longer to get on the geraniums. It will cause them some issues. Having said that, the frost will also cause them some issues. We can clean underneath where the shed's going as well. It's just come out. So we're all happy with that. We'll move all these pots, move them back as required. Uh, a few of them do have a few cracks and things like that, so we do have to be really careful with that when we move them. The client has just had uh, a hebe removed from here, which revealed this. Uh, so what we want to be doing is digging down, see if we can pull that out. If we can't, we can cut it off below ground level get that sorted and that way if anybody falls over it's safe they're not going to land on it and uh, need to go to the hospital. Right, sheds out and uh, straight to EMS. Straight to EMS. How's your little lad? He's had tonsillitis last week but he's good. Is he's good. Something for him Another. School oh thank you. I've got the bigger one of these that you gave me still in my truck right now. <laughs> I thought you were saying about sometimes you didn't want to go to school. Yes. I thought you could say that that yep. little one likes going to school. Put it yes, on. yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Now I've got two. <laughs> okay, so here we have our pressure washing setup. Uh, we've got uh, an electric hose reel where this bolt is a little bit sad, um, but we'll get that replaced in a minute. We've got, yeah, so we've got 100 meters high pressure hose. We've got the water intake hose here. Uh, so it's all nice and easy to take out and put away. Honda engine, 300 bar pump. And the thing that makes the biggest difference is all the accessories we've got with it. So we've got the twin adjustable lance. So that will do fan high pressure down to nice low pressure, good for rinsing off windows and things like that. We've got the mud sucker, We've got the surface cleaner, turbo nozzle. So with all of this, we're all set up for just about any cleaning problem that we come across. We've also got a chemical tank over there. We've got a 12 volt chemical pump in there. We've also got a, a uh, X jet. Uh, so I use a uh, Venturi to, su to suck up the chemical, uh, which is really useful in large areas. Got the chemicals in here. Uh, and then there's the outfeed for the pipe on the uh, mud sucker.
the most efficient way Got to do it. it. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's get get out. Get the gutter back out. Do that. Pull me again, please, Jake. Third time. You're getting good at it. Okay, so on this patio we're going to be chemicaling before we do the cleaning um, just because it's not too bad. We've cleaned this about a year ago so all we're trying to do is just give it a top up clean. The chemicals will help loosen everything up quite nicely and then we'll just be tidying everything up, getting everything uh, back to the way it should be. The chemicals will kill everything off and, uh, as sort of a side effect and keep it cleaner for a little bit longer. I mean there's some areas here that don't get a whole lot of sun uh, and there's a lot of moisture in the pots and things so the idea with that is we start from scratch and make them all look good and keep them good for as long as possible.
Right, so Brett's had to pop off to another job, so I will show you the finished results. Gut is done, the garden clearance bits have also been done, and the shed is gone. Look at how lovely this patio turned out though. All the green is just gone and it'll be looking lovely for the next year or so. And uh, if we go down the path, much cleaner as well. And as we come up to the concrete pad, it's such a pity that another shed is being put on this. Cause if you look close up here, look at how clean we've got that. Bar the leaf, you could probably eat your dinner off that. And as we go back around we can take a look at the steps just looking so much brighter it just brings the whole property up and we've got another patio right here i bet you can barely tell that those are two different types of concrete slabs right there but the difference is just so much clearer now and if we go along the path we can come to the final patio and it's just looking so much brighter just the green is gone the customer was absolutely over the moon and that's all we can really ask for We've also got some super exciting news coming up to do with the business and its expansion. So stay tuned in the next couple of weeks and we'll show you around our new place. Like and subscribe.